Hi, Dr. Mancini here, and today I want to talk about um, energy leaks. Uh, I had another video that talked about another uh, way energy gets robbed from the body. Um, and in this strategy session, I want to show you yet another um, way that we uh, have what's called an energy leak or energy gets taken from the body. Um, and it comes from the principles of Chinese medicine. In Chinese medicine, there's really two major sources of energy leaks. One comes from deficiency and one comes from stagnation. So let's start with stagnation. Stagnation simply means um, lack of movement or non-movement. And whenever um, you have sluggishness of circulation or sluggishness of gut function or sluggishness of brain function, which means those nerve synapses are not firing as fast, uh, low processing, uh, inability to think clear, uh, memory issues. An easy way to know if your energy leak is coming from stagnation is if you get up and you move, you feel better, real simple. So if you're sitting at a desk uh, at your home, you're on a computer for three, four hours, uh, and you start getting tired and you get up and you move and you have more energy, that basically means it's an energy leak from stagnation. Um, if you lay down um, and you don't feel better when you get up or you after you rest, you get up, you don't feel better, you actually feel worse and you need to move your body, again, that's an energy leak from stagnation. Real simple. The other um, energy leak is energy leak from deficiency. Now, this kind of energy leak um, how do you know? You basically, if you get up and you start moving and you don't feel better, actually you'll feel worse and you need to lay down. And when you lay down, you actually feel better. That's an energy leak from, yes, deficiency. Now, if that person gets up and moves, they're going to feel worse. So real easy. Um, how to differentiate it. If you have an energy leak from stagnation, you get up, you move, you feel better. If you lay down, you feel worse. If you have an energy leak from a deficiency, what happens? How do you know? When you lay down, do you feel better or worse? You feel better. You, have, you need to build the reserves. If you get up and move too quickly, your energy is worse. So with that said, um, you know, in today's world, we're at home a lot now. And a lot of us are doing work at home. That means you're on the computer. Um, you may be on a computer for a couple hours, uh, two to three times a day. And if you start noticing energy loss, you're already, um, you're already too late. Now, of course, you want to get up and move, but here's my recommendation. You set up a timer, a chime, something pleasant sounding, and every 20 to 30 minutes maximum, get up and move for literally 30 seconds. That's it, 30 seconds. That means you can get up and do air squats, which means just squat up and down. You could do push-ups. You could do jumping jacks. Uh, you, can, you can run in place for 30 seconds. You literally can do anything for 30 seconds. You just got to move your body and move it um, more rapidly if you can. And if you can't, at least just move your body. Walk up and down your house. Do something with movement. And then you hit the chime or the timer for, for 20 or 30 minutes. And that's all you do. And that, you'll be amazed on the energy that you'll maintain through the day. Not only the energy you'll maintain, but more importantly, your brain power is going to be on. That means when you're doing the work you're doing, you're not just going through the motions. You're actually there 100% and present, okay? Now, the other energy leak is energy leak from deficiency. That means you just need to recover, recharge. So you're going to need a little more than 30 seconds um, recovery points. My, uh, my recommendation is you do it, you have a 10-minute or 15-minute max, not more than that. Just lay down and rest for 10 to 15 minutes. And when you do that, you basically recharge the, the brain. You recharge the battery. It's like plugging your cell phone in and the batteries are low. Now, the cause of that deficiency is an entirely uh, deeper level of thinking. And, and that's something that we can do in another time. But I'm just trying to give you some simple strategies. Um, I know this seems like common sense, but... You know, in today's world, common sense is not so common anymore. Why? Because nothing we're doing now is common. It's all new. So it's really important to just go back to the basics um, and just listen to the body. And now you have a, a little better understanding of what the body's telling you. So listen to the body, recover, recharge, and most importantly, enjoy more energy. Now, please don't even keep, you know, if you feel like this has helped you, Share it with your friends and your family. We need more energy, okay? So have fun with more energy. Take care.